हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड इट्स कंजम्पन दिस चैप्टर बिलोंग्स टू एफ आई बी कॉम अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस स्टूडेंट फॉर सेमेस्टर वन अंडर वी सी इन्वायरमेंटल स्टडीज सो कमिंग टू आर टॉपिक बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड इट्स कंजम्पन लेट एस सी वॉट इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू अंडरस्टैंड बायोडाइवर्सिटी वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मीन बाय बायो एंड वॉट इज मीन बाय डाइवर्सिटी सो वॉट डू मीन बाय बायो बायो मीन्स लाइफ सो एंड डाइवर्सिटी मीन्स वराइटी सो बायोडाइवर्सिटी इज नथिंग बट इट्स अ वराइटी ऑफ लाइफ लिविंग ऑन अर्थ यूनाइटेड नेशंस हैज डिफाइन बायोडाइवर्सिटी एज इट इज अ बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी विच मीन्स वेरिएबिलिटी अमंग लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम from all sources including interalia terrestrial marine and other aquatic ecosystem and the ecological complexes of which they are part of in short biodiversity is what biodiversity is variety of living organisms that are present on earth either in the form of plants or uh, animals or insects and combinations of all this to know further let us see what is a definition of biodiversity the word biodiversity defines the variety of life on earth as we have discussed but in its broader sense it is the reason life exists because in the living planet nothing can exist on its own so everything uh, the uh, whatever life and whatever plants and animals they exist on the earth they coexist and they cannot exist on their own without each other's help so it is a term used to describe the different plants and animals and marine life microorganisms insects habitats ecosystems etc that makes our planet so unique and so fascinating so to know further let us see what are the types of biodiversity so types of biodiversities are categorized into three first is species di diversity as you can see it in a picture then genetic diversity then ecosystem diversity so what is species diversity species diversity denotes the variety of living species in a defined geographical area so generally to understand biodiversity we commonly use a species of uh, various variety such as count of genes or ecosystem in species in species diversity we include types of birds or mammals or reptiles fishes frogs etc so species diversity is nothing but variety of species or variety of kind of species like animals like elephant or reptiles and fishes or aquatic other aquatic animals that are present in our aquatic ecosystem that comes under species diversity as far as genetic diversity is considered genetic diversity is a measure of variety of different versions of the same genes now in the picture you can see a dog but dog of different different genes they belong to different different uh, individual species for example variation among cats variation among dogs variation among men etc can be found in genetic diversity now giving you a very uh, relatable example over here we can see we all uh, do not have same sort of color or we uh, may belong to we, we may have different different characteristics among ourselves only like the man who uh, uh, who lives in asian continent may look different than that of african continent so that is nothing but a genetic diversity last one is ecosystem diversity ecosystem diversity refers to the various types of ecosystem like aquatic ecosystem forest ecosystem topography climate soil because of that the variation that comes amongst this that counts under ecosystem diversity so ecosystem diversity examples of ecosystem diversity are like grasslands forest deserts the aquatic ecosystems like fresh water saline water these are the examples of ecosystem diversity now next we will see what are the values of biodiversity what do we mean by values of biodiversity these are the benefits uh, uh, that we get from our nature or uh, different different types of biodiversity first is 
productive use value now productive use value as its name suggests the products that we get from biodiversity one particular biodiversity or different different types of biodiversity that we get the products that we use that is uh, uh, one type of productive use value so productive use value it includes a commercial products that is harvested or sold in the market it includes fuel wood timber fish or animal skin or fodder or fruits or cereals medicinal plants these are the examples of productive use value of biodiversity then second is consumptive use value of biodiversity now consumptive use value of biodiversity what do we mean by that it means natural products that are consumed directly from the nature it uh, it includes like non timber forest products such as leaves or cane grass firewood which are collected by tribal people that comes under consumptive use value that they used for uh, you know making their home or building their homes with the uh, use of grass or for uh, you know consumption of their own that comes under consumptive use value of biodiversity and last one is very important that is indirect value this is quite complex and we um, may not be able to define this particularly because everything that we get from nature that is for free of cost and indirect value is that only so fresh oxygen supplied by a tree in a period of one year that can be comprises of indirect value which we cannot measure but we get it from our mother nature so the value related to functioning of ecosystem that comes under indirect value of biodiversity next we will see what are the economic benefits of biodiversity what do we get how it generate economy uh, what are the values of products that we get from biodiversity first why biodiversity is important because we get different types of food we get cereals we get grains and we are for our um, uh uh need of a requirement of food we are totally depend on our nature and biodiversity supply variety of foods therefore it is one of the economic benefit then key to food security uh by the current rate i would like to mention here or plant genetic erosion we may destroy 25% of plant species in the world and it is not beyond truth that preservation of this gene base is an internal part of food security so for our food security we are totally 100% dependent on biodiversity so for uh, it is our uh, basic uh, thing that we need to prevent our or preserve our biodiversity next is to provide drug and medicine uh, biodiversity provides variety of drugs as we all know we follow ayurveda in our indian culture so variety of plants are available in diverse forests and therefore we are to, uh, hugely dependent on uh, biodiversity for generation of drugs and medicine then it makes man healthy as we all know if you are close to nature then that really makes intakes whatever intake you take in terms of foods or in terms of environment that makes man healthy the next is it promotes tourism by diverse uh, people those who live in city they wants to go out in the nature and that creates a, a way for tourism and therefore by diversity promotes tourism then it provides fiber provides building material generates biofuel etc then we'll see what are the ecological benefits of biodiversity in terms of environment how it benefits uh, our environment so first is hydrological cycle it uh, makes it ensures that our hydrological cycle is on time that means the rain and uh, monsoon that Uh, which is kept on time that is uh, done by our biodiversity and therefore we must presume or pre uh, preserve our biodiversity then soil formation is one of the very important ecological benefit of biodiversity it helps in process of soil formation and it uh, and its protection then nutrient recycling the biodiversity plays an important role in nutrient cycling because of its micro pres uh, present microorganism in the soil decomposes that uh, present in dead plants and animals that helps in nutrient re recycling even below our earth 
then reduces pollution there is nothing to explain into it biodiversity uh reduces pollution variety of uh, animals that helps in you know balancing the nature then control pest and diseases the wild species that provides a valuable unrecognized services in controlling pests and diseases carrying organisms then maintaining climatic balance this vegetation influences climate both at local and global level and therefore forest maintains rainfall by recycling water vapor stability into atmospheric turbulence so these are the ecological benefits of biodiversity next we will see what is the biogeographical classification of india now this is the map of india which shows different different types of biodiversity that is available in our india so first we will see trans himalayan okay so the rest of the part we will discuss in our next lecture thank you